single Aquarius, the person on your mind, are they also thinking of you? We'll find that out. And if they are, what are their thoughts? And then we'll go a little deeper into all the signs. Get a little more information, okay? That's on the agenda of today for single Aquarius. The person on your mind, are they also thinking of you? Let's find out. Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Wands. So to say they are thinking of you is an understatement. I will clarify these cards before I get into them. Like, this person's on the move for you. That's what it looks like to me. But we'll find out with a clarification. Nine of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. It's a good Nine of Cups. King of Cups, clarified by Four of Pentacles. This person is not letting you go. Let's see this Knight of Wands. Could this, well, person on your mind, obviously somebody who you've met, and they must not be in your immediate vicinity for them to have to come to you, or, you know, some sort of travel, take it as it, as it resonates. Um, obviously, roles can be reversed, as I'm sure you already know that, and of course, gender roles can be reversed and all that good stuff, right? But essentially, um, yeah, what I'm getting is this person sees an opportunity with you, the person on your mind. They have not let go of their fond feelings towards you, male or female. It's the energy of the King of Cups. And finally, um, whether you go over to them or they go over to you, there's some sort of distance to be bridged that they want to have happen. Okay, so those are the, the messages there. Very good. Let's take a look into if they'll approach. They made up their mind to approach at this time. Aquarius. They are thinking about it. They are thinking about the best way of how to approach. I'm going to clarify this. Do it with a one card clarifier. Yeah, they are they are thinking about approaching. Pros and cons. And of course, this could be roles reversed. You could be thinking about the pros and cons of approaching them. What exactly would that connection mean? It seems like as well with the Queen of Wands clarifying this um, Seven of Pentacles, it's like you know or they know. Once they do make that connection, it's sort of like... Um, a, a defining point in your relationship. Like, there's no going back or anything like that. <laughs> you know, it's like a one-time forward deal, you no know, save location like a video game. Uh, I'll do one on timing. Since they're on the fence about approaching, and we could be dealing about dealing with um, multiple signs, and of course, multiple people. We'll get into it. But in general, if this person did decide to come forward, which I see them being on the fence about in general, or you could be on the fence about approaching them. Ah, another seven. Yeah, so much is um, up in the air and the ether with this person in general. The person on your mind. The feelings are there. Who takes the first step? So that's a general message I have, Aquarius, but we could take a closer look and see by sign the person on your mind, what their plans are, how they feel, if it matches this general read or if it's different. 
So if you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, if the person on your mind is a Libra, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius, if the person on your mind is a Libra, this person is coming forward. This person's made up their mind. They're going to take the first step. They are ready to, uh, to work out whatever they need to work out with you. Okay, that's message number one. If you're dealing with a Libra Aquarius, if the person in your mind is a Libra, the Libra will will reach out, and I don't see it taking that long either. It's not immediate, but I would say this is a sooner. Not soon, but a sooner. If you are dealing with a Gemini Aquarius, if you are an Aquarius with a person on your mind being a Gemini, nine, excuse me, not nine, um, six of wands, three of cups, nine of wands. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, this person may reach out to you. They've had enough of waiting. They want things to get started. It seems like they're a little impatient, especially with these energies. Joined by the nine of, um, of wands. It's like they feel life is wasting, time is wasting. This person could reach out to you sooner as well if you're dealing with an Aquarius. I mean, excuse me, if you're an Aquarius dealing with a Gemini. If you are dealing with another Aquarius, a fellow Aquarius, the person on your mind is an Aquarius. Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. Oops. The Tower. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so if you are dealing with another Aquarius, Aquarius, yeah, this person is going to need time. This person is definitely in the timing of... Um, overthinking in their head the pros and cons about coming forward. If they come forward and then when they come forward, if they do. Okay? This person needs more time. If you're dealing with another Aquarius. If you are dealing with a sack. If you are. If the person on your mind, Aquarius, is a sack. Four of swords. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. If you are dealing with a sag, I think it's going to be a bit of time for this person as well. Because they have plenty of things to keep them busy. There are no rush to reconnect with you. Not because of, you know, feelings or anything like that. I don't see it I see it like that. I just see that they are whatever their own single business is, <laughs> they're just kind of wrapped up in that. So it'll be a period of time as well if you're dealing with a SAG. If you're waiting for them to approach you. If you are dealing with an Aries, the person on your mind, Aquarius, is an Aries. King of Pentacles, Four of Swords, temperance. If you're dealing with an Aries, you know, clarify this King of Cups and clarify this Four of Swords. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not going to clarify the other one because no need. If you're dealing with a Aries, Aquarius, we have the Tower clarifying the King of Pentacles. This king is a little indisposed. And it, we have the, the three of swords clarifying the four of swords. This person needs private time to heal and reconnect themselves in the proper way. Together with the healing of the temperance. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries, yeah, it's going to be later than sooner. Okay? 
that's what I get here. This timing, timing of the general read, that definitely applies if you're dealing with an Aries. Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Leo, get Leo. The Leo is on your mind, Aquarius. That fell out, so we'll take it. The Empress. Two of Pentacles. Ooh. If you were dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, this person could reach out. I would also say to Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Leo, you could also reach out to this person and um, whatever communication you gave them, they would be receptive to it. Okay, that's what I see. You can go either way. They could reach out to you or you can reach out to them. And it would be handled with grace. Let's see, if you are dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Taurus, is a person on your mind? Hello. Let's see. The Empress the tower, the sun. Those are fierce energies. Okay, so Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Taurus, my advice is for you to contact the Taurus. <laughs> that's my advice for you. Uh, if you wait, that's kind of what I'm getting here. The message. Um, yeah, the Taurus could be um, could be waiting on you in a very impatient way. If you're dealing with a Taurus, my advice would be you to contact the Taurus. Let's see, Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Capricorn. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, if the Capricorn is on your mind, single Aquarius. Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, contact will be coming in soon. This is a Sooner card, not a Soon, a Sooner card. Capricorn will be in touch with you. If you are dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Virgo, you have two cards here. The Tower, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. If you are dealing with a Virgo, I'd say they made the, they have made or are making the decision to come forward. I think you'll hear from the Virgo soon as well if you're dealing with a Virgo. If you are dealing with, we're on water signs now, I think. Aquarius is a person on your mind. He's a Pisces. Pisces on your mind. Seven of Cups. Ooh, five of Pentacles. Uh, seven of Wands. Okay, so if you are dealing with a Pisces Aquarius, this is going to be a while. The person on your mind is, if they're a Pisces, is definitely full of this um, Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Swords energy about approaching. I would also say, too, we have all the sevens here. Yeah, there's there's a bunch on this pl person's plate. Um, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this person is working through some issues. Could be about your relationship. It's a person on your mind. I don't know if you wanted it to come into contact sooner. If you were patient, I think you could go and work with the Pisces. But if you wait for the Pisces, to contact you, oh, it's going to be a while. They have things to work out. 
even if you contacted them, they, they could put a little bit of their angst on you. But um, you get to, to, through the healing process faster if it's a Pisces. You could do that. I leave it up to you. <laughs> Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, as a person on your mind, the Devil, Nine of Wands, Star, this is sweet, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, that Scorpio really wants to talk with you. I don't see them reaching out to you first, though. Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I think the Scorpio wants you to reach out to them, but they will be very, very happy that you you did so. They won't give you like any of that sort of angst that the Pisces will probably give you if you contact them first, but they'd like it, but you know the Pisces, but, but the Scorpio would be, would really like it, and they would make no secret of it, I believe. If you, final sign, Cancer, Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Cancer as a person on your mind, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Pisces, excuse me, if you're dealing with a Cancer as a person on your mind, not only is this person ready to talk with you, well, yeah, this person is ready to talk to you. Will they come forward first? I think they want you to come forward to them. But, you know, very good energy is here, too. Um, but, yeah, I think that they would want you to initiate the contact if you're dealing with a cancer. So let me know if this resonates, Aquarius like or leave a comment also subscribe on my new channel i will be putting out regular videos for the collective i look forward to doing so and um thank you for your time today i appreciate it bye bye